was a painting to stare at with everyone to brush in. Singer and songwriter Patrick James began his musical career busking in his hometown of Port Macquarie in New South Wales, Australia. Fast forward six years and he's releasing a single and album. The change from just being a busker to a live performer uh, happened fairly, fairly sort of steadily, I guess. Um, it took me a couple of years of busking, maybe, maybe one or two to sort of get my chops up to make me feel good enough to play a live performance. And then I was lucky, luckily enough, I moved to Sydney and I met the right people who could kind of steer me in the right direction and play the right kind of shows. His new song, Bugs, shows off his own brand of indie folk, which he says is reflected in his album, which will be out later this year. Uh, I guess the album for me is kind of divided into two. There's, there's a lot of really kind of heavier band kind of sounding tracks with a lot of harmonies and instruments going on, sort of the rockier side of my music, I guess. And then there's the classic kind of singer-songwriter stripped back, uh, piano ballads and acoustic ballads as well. So the way I see it, it's sort of like it, it goes in, in two different waves. And I sort of wanted to make an album that had both those things. So it was a bit diverse. He was first noticed back in 2012 when Matchbox 20's Rob Thomas saw him busking and tweeted his praise to half a million followers. The tweet from Rob Thomas was one of those kind of crazy things that happen that you don't ever think will happen. It's sort of a, a pretty kind of cliche story in a way that it actually did happen to me. Rob Thomas actually came up and bought a couple of my CDs. He'd been watching me for about an hour and a half which made me incredibly nervous. And he's already toured with big name artists like Boy and Bear, Emma Louise and Pete Murray. Bugs is out now, worldwide. Dina Campbell, Sky News. But the bugs are getting in between my ears and then crawling on my face.